You came to attention a few years ago at Design Academy Eindhoven, where at the graduation show you showed a machine which took sunlight and made objects with it. Tell me a, a little bit more about that project. Yeah, the project is called The Idea of a Tree, and it's actually an autonomous solar power production process which is producing one object per day from sunrise to sunset. And by doing so, it incorporates like, the various sun conditions of the day in the outcoming object. So each object becomes a three-dimensional representation of the day and place of production. This project was, on the one hand, about like, the recording qualities a tree has. And we wanted to bring that into kind of production processes. And on the other hand, it's also a lot about locality. So we call it industrialized locality, because it's really about like, this one geographical spot where it is produced. And it kind of represents also the kind of natural cycles in this area. It's as well that trees, they, they, they react to the surrounding. If a tree grows in the forest, it always grows taller in order to compete for more sunny light. But if a tree is on an open field, it will be wider and bigger. And we wanted to have a process that reacts to the surrounding, that takes the influences that are around and brings these recording qualities into an object. So this is one of the objects made by the idea of a tree. And so basically what happened, the solar power rotated the mold that was inside this form and the strength of the sunlight affected the amount of dye that was put on the thread. Is that right? And the, the thickness of the, the winding of the thread, because the, the, the rotation is completely depending on the sun intensity. So if there's a lot of sun, it goes quicker than if there's less sun. So here you can see it was the morning so it's a bit dark in the morning. Then you have bright sunshine in the early afternoon, a few shadows or a cloud, another sunshine, sh cl cloud or shadow, sunshine, and then the evening. So it's really like the thickness and the color gradient tell the story of the sunlight condition at that place and day of production. And that's why we put as well a stamp on the evening side that tells the day and place. Then you know as well how to read it from morning to evening and not mix it up. So you can look at one of these pieces and know exactly what the conditions were like during the day. So these lampshades were made using the same machine. Tell us a little bit about these. Yeah, so both lampshades are uh, made with the idea of a tree project. The one on the right hand side, <laughs> for the viewer, was made in Naples on a really rainy day. So there's no color variation in it. It's just dark blue and quite short. Whilst the one on the left hand side was made in Linz in, in autumn. And there you can really see kind of the change from cloud to sun. And then it was cloudy again. So it was kind of a typical Austrian autumn day. And other ones made on sunshiny days more expensive? Uh, no, actually, it doesn't really depend on the sunshine. It's more calculated by the length of the object. So there's a price for each per centimeter in length because uh, you pay what you get. So in winter, the objects are shorter, so they must be cheaper as well, whilst in summer, they're longer, so they're more expensive. So it's like pizza al taglio? Yeah, a little bit.